be able to hit like a tool. Hey guys, I'm still trying to figure out the tool thing so that stuff will appear the right way and not flipped around backwards. Um, Lisa Boone said that there was a little like tool. It's like it's not the wand, is it? Well, the wand is like for. See, that's to add things yeah. to. It doesn't, yeah. Um, Cause see, she said that there'd be a little wrench. We'll figure it out one day. And that. I wonder what this is. Hold on, what's that? Um. Um. That's no, viewers. That's... No, that's viewers' requests. What about the? What were the lines for? What are those? Let's see here. Hey, hey Cammy. We're trying to figure out how to get the, so you Things can see, flipped. yeah, so it's, so it'd be flipped oh, wait. around. Oh, No, that's, that's probably flipping around the thing, never mind. Yeah, that's to flip around Yeah, we don't want to do that. Because I, I wish you guys could see, What's like, the stuff because it's thing? always backwards. What's the plus thing? Hey, Linda. Um, I don't know what that is. What's that? No. No. I'll have to ask in my business we'll her because Lisa keeps telling me that it's um, there's a wrench there and Not there's me, no, another Lisa. Yeah, Lisa Boone. And there's no there's no wrench there. There's no huh. Hold on, let me see if I can I'm gonna do this, see if I can screenshot the hold on. There you go. So I screenshotted the thing, so at least I'll show her then. Sorry okay. if I <laughs> Oh my gosh. I am really technologically challenged here. If that's not even if that's even the right word. We'll, we'll invent it. Oh, oh, yes. We'll invent the word. If it's not a if it's not a real word, we've just invented it. <laughs> oh my gosh. If you I guys, invent words all the time. Yeah, me too. Oh my gosh. If you guys would take this and sprinkle it out a little bit to your friends and family. Um we've got some of the new stuff. Um, I don't know if we can even see it. I don't know. The, the event. Let's see if it'll Show up. That's an old one. Oh, wait a minute. Wait. No, that's now. Okay. So hold on. Now let's turn the volume down. Hold on. Hold on. We're, it's okay. It's okay. We usually don't do it in the early part of the day. So yeah. So <laughs> we're waiting. Okay. So hopefully we'll be able to see your comments better on this. Yeah. It's bigger. Yeah. And then yeah, we'll uh, put that we'll there. Put here. All right. There we go. We got it. All right. And so, there we go. I I think. <laughs> <laughs> okay. All right. So they just released the um, 2022 um, um, release for the IOD and some of the products and stuff. So, and we have been playing this weekend. So we wanted to show you guys, um, you know, some of the items and things like that. And we wanted to show you uh, paint inlays. Um, because a lot of people are scared and nervous about them and they seem intimidating but um, they are very once you start using them they're very easy and um, you can get you know three uses sometimes even four uses out of you know one um, one design so it'll get as, lighter each time yes, and have that more uh, vintage feel and more Which I love. To it. yeah me too um, okay so and then we were going to show you guys some of the molds too, one of them, and um, we'll show you all of them, but yeah. um, I wanted to, um, I forgot the cornstarch. <laughs> so, oh, anyhow, all right. So we're going to start, you want to start with the um, Well, let's start with the clay. Oh, okay. All right, that's time. Um, we'll do the inlay last. Okay. We've got um, three di or four different molds. All of them, everything in this release is limited edition. Um, except for two of the stamps. The, the pretty in plaid stamp is uh, part of the regular line and heavenly, which is, um, it looks like angels and cherubs and wings and stuff like yeah. that. Um, that is part of the regular line. Everything else is a, a one-time release. And once it's out of the warehouse, it is gone. And you guys know how difficult it is to find um, items that, you We're know. We're throwing things around. Yes. It's okay. Um, they've got a new, um, what are you looking at? Swipe up to reveal comments or reactions. Yeah. You can see them here the, too. Swipe oh. up the, swipe left. There you go. Oh, okay. okay. Did my order, uh, did my order already, but if you make something from what I didn't order, then I may place another one. <laughs> so okay. Just, That's fine, Linda. You know how, I know. Um, I want to show you. So Linda said like, there's no sound. Can you hear us now? 
can you can you guys hear us? Uh oh. Uh oh. Can you hear us at all? Somebody let us know. And I forgot to take my notifications off on my phone, so I'll get those dings too. Yes. Linda says yes, they can yes, hear us. Yes. Okay, all right, cool, Linda. Um I really, I know that you're nervous about the inlays. I don't want you to be. I think that once you try them, Linda, you will be hooked. I promise you. Um, I know they're a little bit more money. I actually um, am in the process of lowering the price down on all of the um, stuff uh, is coming down just to help out everybody um, a little bit with uh, the economy and you know getting crafts made this year and making it a homemade Christmas and a homemade holiday season. Um, so, you know, everything's come down at least a dollar and sometimes more, um, on all of the items, not just the Christmas items, but the entire, um, line is coming down a little bit in price, uh, just to help everybody out. Um, so, um, we're going to start here with the, this is the Babel's, um, mold here. It is, um, you can use them, it'll be back to back, meaning you can um, mirror image them. Um, bobbles, am I saying? Yeah, babbles. Oh, it's bobbles, I'm saying it wrong. Um, so that doesn't surprise me. <laughs> um, something I like about their molds is that um, not only do they have the micro rim here, which is uh, awesome, which makes it easier uh, versus any other company's mold to be able to get the clay out of it but they've got in here um, on them the measurements here uh, for each one so if you're doing resin it'll tell you uh, 5.6 milliliters is what's needed for this specific one or 8.4 grams of clay which um, and I don't, I've never seen another mold that does that no um, I've never seen anybody else's product that does that other than the IOD one. Yeah. Um, but what I like about these is you can make ornaments with them um, at double sided so that they're 360 degrees. Um, we've got here some of the ones we did with the snowflake mold um, here and mirror imaged it on the back here, um, which I think is beautiful. And the detail in these yeah. is just amazing. This one is really I like the they're beautiful and then um, when when we're did, did you put the, um, the, the yeah I put the clear thread in this one but okay. the others I, I didn't like the clear thread so okay I, I felt like it was too I just felt, felt like it was too thin yeah I mean it's strong because it's made for like quilting line. oh okay. no, it's made for quilting okay but um, so yeah, one of the things that I thought would be really cool, would you grab it right quick? Is yeah. that those diamonds um, from? Uh, yes. Yeah. The something I and thought that was sea glass. Sea glass. Okay, so she used the color sea glass in here. Um, one of the things that we were looking at um, when we got in the shop this morning to add to these would be to take the um, of the would you bend and posh. Um, pigments and paints and patinas that I carry. You just sent me in there to find these without my glasses. Oh goodness, sorry. <laughs> um, is we have, it's called Posh Chalk Diamond Dust here. These are actually Swarovski crystals. They're like like pulverized, like little crystals. They're just, I mean, I don't know what else do you want to call them, but they call them diamond Very dust. Very cool. Very cool. The, it says texturizing crystals designed to give body to, it's, it says posh chalk metallic pastes made with real Swarovski crystals. Diamond dust can also be used to create corrosion and other effects for different things. But I was thinking if you took, put a clear coat, if you use Big Top or any type of clear coat on this here, and then, whoops, and then that poor thing is going to end up on the floor, <laughs> and then sprinkled it with the Swarovski crystals, that these would glisten like the snow does on the morning on the ground. Um, that would be so, it would think, so cool. Yeah, and then with the lights on the tree that, you know, would reflect with the diamond dust, I think that would just be stunning. I do, um, 
I have three trees, Christmas trees every year in my house. And one of them is um, a Victorian, kind of shabby chic Victorian tree. And with that sparkly and everything, that would look so cool on my tree. Yeah, oh, that, that would tree. be really pretty. Oh, wow. Yeah, and I, I like that. I wouldn't have not, wouldn't have thought sea glass, but that's beautiful. Yeah. That's like the perfect, perfect Well, I took blue. a beadboard uh -huh. and I put it in the center. Uh -huh. And then I dotted the... Uh, the um, sea glass on it, mm -hmm. and then I took a little bit of water okay. and just played with it. Like almost like oh, it's a watercolor yeah, type exactly. thing. Yeah, exactly. Because you can DIY paint, you can dilute it down even 10 to 1, and you don't lose because it's so saturated and heavily pigmented. You can, uh, it'll keep its color. Okay, so we're going to take, we'll show you guys, we don't have the, the, um, cornstarch, but we're going to try to wing this here without the cornstarch because I forgot that this morning. Um, I don't know if we can angle this downwards here with this. There we go. Yeah, but, but no, I think it won't stack. Yeah, I don't think it's going to. Nope, it's not. Okay. Nope, sorry guys. Now they only get part of our heads. <laughs> uh, I know I can get part of the, it's like, um, I think it's like switcher or whatever that um, where you can dual, where you've got one that will, oh, okay. it's a it's a, an app that you have to pay for that's, um, I gotcha. so you've got one here. We'll have and one. to figure something out for the yes. future. Yes, yes. But we can open this up and see if the, we just have to show them. Yeah. Yeah, my fingers don't do the, So we're using the air dry clay. Yes. I'm gonna show it to them. Yes, this is an air dry clay, and when you order three molds, and this is just, you know, in general, any time, but when you order three molds within one um, purchase, I always send out a package of air dry clay free um, for you to use. This is very easy. It's very soft um, clay. I have arthritis. She has um, MS, so our hands are not the best in the world but this is very easy to work with for both of us. Yes and you need to consistently keep it covered up because um, it is air, air dry. dry clay it will dry out while you're trying to work with it. Um, let's see here which one do you want to stick this in? That one? Okay we're going to hold on I, because the you guys can't see this but let's see here well, you'll be able to see it here in just a minute if it comes out because I didn't put the stuff in there. Hmm. Let's see here. Oh, let's see. Here, let me get behind it and I'm gonna put it so so can so can angle it, yeah. yeah. And see Just tell me when it's good. I'll hold it for a minute. Uh, let's see here. And if you can get the, all right. I think, well, sort of, yeah, there you go. Uh, there we go. And you see how easy that is to just slide that off like this because the micro rim to literally just push that off the edge like that. My little tables are squeaking. <laughs> it is that simple. You know, in other molds, they don't have that little rim. And so when you take it out, there is actually an edge that you have got to take off. Yes. And that's difficult when you're trying to make a um, a back-to-back -back, um, ornament. Let's see, let's see here. Let's cross off fingers because we didn't have any cornstarch. Uh, let's see here. Oh, nope, lost the first section of it. If we had cornstarch, it would come just fall right out. There we go, yeah. So all I did was lose the top of this little piece here, but it's nothing where you can't stick it back on like that, or even if you were making your own, keep it just the way it is, just like this. So. Now I have seen people that instead of using the cornstarch, they take and they stick it in the freezer. Yes, yes. Um, Cassandra was telling me that that's what she does with some of them, like the, um, that she has some trouble, Cassandra from the Tell Palm Porch, um, I'm good, um, and when she does it, um, the little horse legs, it's hard to get those off, so, um, I tried the same thing, it was yeah, 
So she said she sticks them in the freezer and then um, they come out that way. Um, I have trouble with the letters um, from the Harper mold and the um, Victoria molds. Um, getting the letters out where they're not, uh, I mean, I, I just can't do it. So that I'm going to yeah. try that and see well, how that would work. Well, I'm thinking the reindeer also might, that might be a good thing to do with the yeah. reindeer, with the, with yep. the antlers and the legs. Let's see if we can, see if I can get another one of these squeaked out of here. Um, it's not going to be enough, but. Um, so you can get a lot out of a pack, out of one pack of of the air dry flag. Oh yes, absolutely. Hold on. So I'm going to take this one piece since I messed that up there and <laughs> see if we get that in there and make it a, a hole where I can show you guys how it goes all the way across. But I think this is a, uh, a one of their, it's patented, their micro rim um, is patented to them and if you've used other molds and then you use their mold it's like night and day you can you can really that mm -hmm. micro rim is just a blessing yes it is it is absolutely is okay let's see here and then see if we can get this to bend on out there we go let's see here Ta -da. there we go so now I've got two of them and you know how that top came off. So I've got, this is that first one and that little piece came off. So when I made the second one, I just didn't put it in that piece there. And then, um, I don't think I've got any glue with no. me. But you, you would can take, glue it. you would take them and then glue the two of them together. And then now- And put a little string just like yep. you got here and the string would go in the, in, in the center of it. Or you can, if it's one that you wanted, you can put a hole uh, with yeah. it and put a hole through that. But see, That's true too. now you would have, you know, a 360 degree um, ornament, ornament, a babel or however, bobble, bobble. bobble. Um, think of those bobble heads, like the- <laughs> That's B-O-B-B-L-A. <laughs> <laughs> it says the same, it sounds the same. <laughs> But see, I think that's cute. And you can do that with all of these. Um, the, you can do that with the snowflakes. Here's another Which one. Which is what we did. We yes, had the snowflakes. This is the snowflake mold here that uh, we've got. And then um, then this one is called Holly Lane. It's got a bunch of the greenery, the Christmas greenery and some pine cones. I am excited. I want to do the pine cones. Uh, I want to do the pine cones. I want to try the pine cones with... Um, with uh, Hot glue. Ah, yes. And see how it turns out. Yes, I did that um, in one of my next videos. I did pumpkins, and I've been so busy, I've not been able to get. The, and I did those back at the beginning of June. Um, that I have not gotten that video edited. I will get that here soon. Um, and then this one here, which is what, I, what is Jingle? My name and my my brain is just. And this one's got um, a bunch of the deer. I'm excited and, to do that one too. Yes, that one's really cute. See, I'm thinking, I'm thinking that the freezer method would be good because the antlers. Yes, because they're so fine yeah. in there. Yeah, yeah, I agree. But even this, this one here, um, would be really cute if you took and um, got a magnet and imprinted the magnet into the back. Of any of these, even the the bobbles. You got it. Even if you, even if, <laughs> even if you, uh, it's took, the small things. <laughs> even if you took uh, an um, a magnet and uh, pushed it into it before it dried, then you can um, then when you take it out, glue it in there when it's dried, and then you'll have these as magnets. So you can do a set of magnets for uh, people or the. The, the deer, you can put, you know, like your grandkids' names on that them. That would be cool. You know, in, in that. So, all right. All right, we're going to put this up. And we will move on to, let's see here. Oh. What do you want to do next? The, let's do the stamps. The stamps? Okay, here. Let me. Yeah, let's put that back in. I'm going to put this in here and then we're yeah. going to do. Um, we're putting up the clay so yeah, it doesn't because dry. It, yes, because it will dry out. Let's see here.
I need to wrap that because um, the yeah that bottom section is not a not covered. There we go. And this is with this is the bubble wrap from I got some stuff in from Hummingbird Naturals, um, which is some soaps and um, that we're super excited about. Oh my God, they smell amazing. I had to literally I, the box came to the house and. The dog kept sniffing it and they smell so good. I had to take the box of all of these, the soaps and the uh, shower steamers and the lotions and stuff and I had to put them up because I was scared the dog was going to think they were food. They smelled that good and tried to eat them. Oh, they are just amazing. I'll show you guys some of those at the end of um, the video or at the end of the live today. What, 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 we're going to do the stance. Okay, see my brain is just it's a, okay. <sighs> okay, so we've got a couple of stamps here. This is one that is the regular line. This is uh, called Pretty in Plaid here. And Pretty in Plaid, um, you've, you've got different designs that you can. And then at the bottom of it, it has um, a bow. Let's see here. So you could actually do your own bow on your Christmas wrap. Yeah. If you put solid wrap, like say, um, so you can consistently you make a whole yeah. thing. And then um, here, they uh, have masks in here too for these items. And they're colored so they're easier to keep track of. So you can do the bow and then have this masked off so that it's all, so it looks like it's a three-dimensional um, bow set in there. I'm excited. I like plaids. And I've always liked plaid and plaid items. And the and I think it'd be cool to play with because on the back it shows that they've done two different colors on mm -hmm. fabric for a pillow. Yeah. Which I think would be really cool to play with like that. Yes. And, and I think that would be yeah. hard though because then you've got to that would take it would ooh. take some time, but I think it's cool. Yes, I would like to see if they've got a video on that because I would be you know yeah studying that. Because that looks like it is that stamp there with this one with that stamp. that one so I'm gonna guess that the one this one is done in red and the other one is done in black yeah yeah I bet you that's how that one is done and then let's see here we have this one this one is heavenly this is um, cherubs or angels and um, the wings there we go and this also has the masks for it as well and it looks like you've got some other things in it too um, just some I like a floral and greenery. On. Couldn't say mm -hmm. floral and greenery and stuff. The wings. I like the wings because there's so much you can do with the wings. I mean, you don't have to. You don't have to use the angels either. Right, yeah. Right. You can just use the wings and different things and different patterns. And then it's got some greenery too. So if you, if you are an angel person, you've got them all there. If you're not an angel person, you have the stuff that you can. Uh, and there's mask. a little cherub. Yes. A little cherub on the bottom, a, a baby. There's, yeah, there's some little baby cherubs, yeah. and then there's a um, I don't know what the a big. Uh, that's so I I think I think that's so you can border it with this. You can put some fancy. Ah, uh, okay, yeah. Around that it. that makes sense. So you've got this here for the corners. Yeah, I've seen corners, and then you've got the long stamp here that would cover, so you can make different edging around it. Mm -hmm. So that would make sense. All right. Yeah. And then we have the um, cozy, cozy, which is awesome. That's one of my favorites. I like I the little like needle point. It. Yeah, I love the little needle point yeah. stuff on it. Oh wow! This one will be nice. There we go. And this one has all kinds of goodies. All kinds but of But this right here looks like sweaters. Looks like a mm -hmm. knit sweater. Remember the needlepoint that our grandmothers would yeah, do? Yeah. That's what that reminds me of. Yeah. Um, and the sisters did that inside of like a hoop ring. 
They were yes. very cute. Yeah, very cute or, or ornaments with the hoop ring. Yes, or yes. you can put them on the wall. Either one. Oh, but yeah. I like the you got the the um, coffee uh, again. The, the the coffee, but then you also have the cocoa too. So yeah, you can pick, pick your pick. Yep. And a tea bag. It's got a little tea bag in there. Yes. Oh bag. look at that. Yeah, that's cute. Yeah. Some of these I'm seeing too for the first time. I haven't had the opportunity to sit down and go through them all. They're cute. I love the little needlepoint yeah. um, stuff. And yeah, the reindeer that, um, looks like needlepoint. When you do the reindeer, it looks like, Aww. you know, that it's done in needlepoint. I love those. I like the little poinsettias. Aw. Yay. All right. And then we've got, let's see here. And now let's do the transfers. Then we'll do the inlay last. Yeah. We have got... The IOB so transfer awesome transfers. is called Christmas Valley, I believe, is the name of this one. And this is eight pages. There's a lot in this one. Lots and lots and lots of smalls in here for you guys to use for the different projects. I love that truck. And the, this one has um, just a wide variety of all kinds of different things. Did something else come through? Hmm? Did another something else come through? Okay. Um, but this one and, and the Cardinals, this reminds me a lot of some of the ones that they did. Um, I want to say it was the, the Christmas, two Christmases ago, where they had the deer on um, the transfer. It's the, It was the Christmas that they did the snowflake mold and the... Um, and the Somebody evergreen. Said I love this one. Yes. That's Tracy. Tracy. Yes. We are, everybody, we are getting Tracy's teas in. I am super excited. They're on the website, so you guys can check them out. I will give you guys all kinds of more information on them. I am so our next excited. Time. Yes. Our next I am, time. We've got tons So, of yes, stuff. I'm so excited to share them with you. She has them hand done. Like, she hand picks what ingredients, that, and it's all done in the US. I'm so excited to have them here. And oh, I'm just, just the, I remember tea when you, yeah. you know, like, I mean, in the North, yeah. it, like growing up, there was no such thing as sweet tea. It was always, you know, hot tea. You know, my grandmother would have hot tea and hot well, tea bags. I have bags several and, friends and, that spent time over in Europe. And so they come back to the States after years of being in Europe and they're used to the little tea houses and so that's and they miss that they miss yeah. the different teas and little tea houses yeah well this tea will satisfy yeah. that urge yeah. I guarantee it all right so we have got there's multiple designs in this um, this one says Christmas Valley and and then let's see here there's the truck I can't wait to use the truck yes I don't want to open them all like this and have them. Yeah. That truck is adorable. And all that, you can cut these up too into so many different, um, and you'll see what we've this. done. But we yes. have some examples. You'll see what we've done. Yes, 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 yes. Let's see here. Here's another one with some animals, some bears. Look at these. They are so cute. The wildlife that's in them. Yeah, there's a lot of wildlife was, was, and a lot of birds, which yes. is what I like too. Yes. I love winter birds. Yes. The cardinals are beautiful. Mm -hmm. And the greenery. I know there's there's some people that, I, I actually have a friend, and that's she's got a room just done in, in cardinals. Oh, wow. Got, yeah, yeah, so I always know what to get her for Christmas. Something, <laughs> something red. <laughs> and then this is part of one of the wreaths here. That's yeah, the other side. Cool. Yeah. yeah, I like that. And so, and the thing to remember about the transfers is you can cut them up however you want. Mm -hmm. um, even though they're all on a paper in one way, you can cut them up however you want to put them however yep. you want on your project. Yep. So there's no two projects that are exactly no. the same. No. So this is the other half of that um, that uh, wreath there from the other side. This one, the little cabin with the snow. This is really pretty. It's really pretty. I think what I was really, with 
this collection, I was really struck by the fact that it was not so much the, the Christmas, you know, Santa Christmas, it was more of the feeling, the holidays, the family, mm -hmm. snow, you know, that kind of thing, the yeah. big, you know, uh, the wilderness Christmas. Yeah. Um, yeah, that's more of what they grasp in these. Yeah, and the, it, it's more, it just seems more family oriented. Yeah, more, homey. yeah, homey. Well, it goes with cozy. It goes with the other yeah. things that, that they've come up with. Yeah. And here's this here too, this one. Now see the ornaments, you see how the ornaments here are in black and white there? You can paint those. Mm -hmm. You can put them down on anything that you want and then you can use any type of artisan paint or the DIY paint. Um, I've got um, some um, uh, India inks um, that I like to use um, and, and paint in things. And uh, you know, so you can do that and you can change that too with all of this stuff. You can. If there's something that, you know, if mm -hmm. the white poinsettia, you want it to be red, you can change it and make it red. Just use your imagination. Yeah. yeah. So there is, you can never have two projects exactly the same unless you intentionally make two of them the exact same uh, for yourself. Yeah. Um, and mm -hmm. then. And we'll show you some projects yes. that we did. Yes. And that's just a canvas, a, a canvas bag that I put a stencil on. And then, um, what's it, a big top? Mm-hmm. And then just put big top over where the stencil is, and then uh, yeah, and then just put some greenery. transfer. Mm -hmm. Transfer. What I said. Stencil. Greenery. I mean transfer. See, I can't even. <laughs> now it's my turn for her to correct me. <laughs> <laughs> but this would be this is cute not only just for decor but as a gift too. Oh yeah. Both, yeah, yeah. Both items. Yes. Yeah. But it can't you can't you see it? It would be so cute in, in mm -hmm. a Christmas vignette. Mm -hmm. It would be really cute. Yeah. Absolutely. And then here is another one. It's another one. We had um, just an old bird house that we painted up and put on a, a pedestal. Is that frosting on the top? It's frosting. frosting. I added that. <laughs> and yeah, that's that's fake snow. And then put a little wreath on it. But all these are the transfers from the. See how cute that is. Mm -hmm. Absolutely adorable. A little, little wreath above the birdhouse. Yeah, the bird door. yeah, the little wreath. And then one more. This is adorable. This is that little wreath that they had in there with the cardinal and then some jute twine and some greenery at the yeah. top. Yeah. Look how adorable this is. This would be absolutely adorable in your booth or in your home for yeah. decor or even given as a gift. Yeah. I mean, this is just, it, and it's simple. It's just, it's simple and it's a quick uh, project. And, and you just use your imagination. Mm -hmm. Just that's, you could just, you can do anything with them. Yep, 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 I agree. All right, and then. So now the inlays, the one yes. that everybody's scared of. Yes, the paint inlay. So um, when you use an inlay, Give me my fingers up. They've got the clay still on them. I want to rinse them off right quick and can I have the paper towel right quick? Because they've been drying. All right, I don't want to touch them. There we go. All right, I have that air dry clay still stuck on my fingers. So the paint inlays, these have eight sheets to them and you can use them. They're a little more expensive. I'm going to take and point it down. Okay, they're a little bit more expensive than a transfer. However, you can use this at least two times and sometimes three and four times for each thing you have to keep going down. So, let's see here. Is that good? Yeah. So when you open this up, you have here the sheets. And this is the sheet here, it's called a carrier sheet and it has the paint on the other side. So you can cut them apart however you're going to, whatever design you want to use. And it's actual paint. Yes, there is it is actual paint that is on there. Which ones did we use then? Uh, the truck and okay. the um, fresh cut. Okay, so we've got the truck here and I'm gonna take this one here out. And where's fresh cut? Is that, um, is that the back end of it? Let's see here. 
It's in here somewhere. It's in there. But you want to, uh, when you use these, take out those two right quick because those are the two that we're having here that we're going to show you guys and they don't they come loose in the package they're not tied in like the transfers are they're loose but they have a sheet in between each one so there's the paint that has the carrier sheet that has the paint on it like that and then it's got the backing on it so, and this, like, even if you touch it, it's not going to stick to anything like the transfers do. So you can cut apart what you're going to use. And we've got one here. So you'll put two coats of paint down on, uh, which is, there's two coats of crinoline down on the surface that you're going to use. And then the second, first, you let the first coat dry, then the second coat when it is wet, you're going to take your um, paint inlay, the part that you have cut out, and you're going to put it into the paint that's wet. Then you're going to make sure you're going to get the outside wet. First take the brayer. Mm -hmm. And then you're going to take your brayer. And then, and if you don't have a brayer, you can take a, you know, just a, a damp cloth and make sure it's got good contact. The reason why you're doing this is so that the contact you have good contact between the carrier sheet with the paint on it and the actual wet paint because you are wanting that to infuse into the wet paint. You want it to come off of the carrier sheet into the surface or onto the surface that you are wanting to trans that, transfer that onto. So then when it's dry like this, once it's been dry, after you cut this apart and you apply it onto there, which we can do. Does this have two coats? It's just got the it's one. It's got the one. The one coat? Okay. And then, where's the scissors here? Or do you want to do the same design again? Yeah, we okay. can, just to show them. Okay. So that, yeah. Alright. So I'm going to cut this here. There's some s snowflakes around here, so I'm cutting around them. And then, This also has grid lines on it too, so if you need that to help you with any of the projects, kind of like the transfers do as well. need to run um, it is 12 so we need to make sure the door is unlocked for UPS right quick you want to grab do that right quick so that they can't say that we were yeah there. she's gonna run and do that right quick because UPS has uh, been pro very problematic to say the least unfortunately so I'm going to take in here and uh, can you get some water in the um, 
water sprayer? Yeah. Okay. Oh, you know what? There's water in this here. We'll do this. Yeah, I'll I got water in there. I'll just do that yeah. in there. Yeah. All right. That's what I was doing. All right. So I'm going to tell me when it tell me when it's good. Yeah, you uh, yeah, you can see. I'm gonna wet this so that'll help spread the the paint. So you're gonna put this layer of paint here. And this is so that the paint inlay, the carrier artisan paint that's on there, um, I think it's hard, I don't know what the, it is a certain kind of paint that's on there, can infuse into your painted surface here. Make sure it's got enough. You have to make sure it's really yeah. wet. Because you don't want it to, if it's dry, it's not going to infuse into it. And then if the paint is not, if it's too thin and it's not got enough to infuse into, it won't work right. But that doesn't mean that you can't fix it. And Whoop, it just I just totally moved everything. Uh, <laughs> Sorry about that, guys. Is it still seeing? Is it still okay? Yeah. Okay. Right. I just gave him a little jump. <laughs> All right. So then we are going to take the truck. Well, why don't we do the fresh cut? We'll do. I don't know that. I Probably the truck in the middle yeah. first. I'm so indecisive. And then, so we're going to put the truck down here first. And you're going to roll it with the brayer so that you have good contact between the paint inlay and the paint, the paint itself. itself. I can't seem to, I can't walk and chew gum at the same time. So it's okay, I gotcha. I gotcha. Yeah. At Lisa and I managed to be a great team together. The two of us are actually going to starting in September we are going to be part of the JRV uh, TV team and we will get to uh, be doing uh, lives on the JRV uh, television um, channel on uh, the internet yay yay I'm super super excited so I've got the fresh we'll be movie stars <laughs> Stenciling stars. Stenciling stars. Stenciling stars. Yeah, we'll be stenciling stars. <laughs> and then I'm going to put the cut down here. And I'm going to roll this here. And I know I've gotten some of the paint on the outside of the brayer part. That's fine. And then I almost dipped that in the paint. Not the, the paint. Not the paint. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Yes, yes, yes. All right. And so you want to get the, then the, um, my words are not coming out right. Get the inlay really wet. You want it just really wet. Yes. Because this is helping it to infuse into the paint below the carrier sheet. And then after it dries, we'll show you what hours, to do next. Yeah, we'll show you what to do next. 
because we have one with that this step already done and dried for you guys. I'm going to now, even though I have done this once already, I'm yeah, going to I always still do it roll again. It yeah. Again and make sure that um, it has really good contact still with all of the surface. There we go. It is that simple. All right. Now, then we've got, close this up here. Now you know all this goodness here at the, the top. It's still good. It is still good. And anything on the sides and the bottom and stuff like that, when you get to the very end, you can scoop all of that goodness out and reconstitute the paint and put some a little bit of water in it and it will reactivate itself again. <laughs> I just, I'm not doing good. I think, I think you pulled it out of the- I did. <laughs> out of the, um, I don't know how to fix that part. Hold I on. got it, I got it. Hang on. <laughs> don't want to make you, any of you sick to your stomach. Okay. <laughs> It's an experience with yes. us. Yes, we'll figure this out. We'll get, um, I, I'm going to look into seeing about the ones yeah. to the yeah. overhead for when we do those yeah. graphs and stuff like that. Where is that one showing? Mm, from like here. <laughs> <laughs> it's okay. <laughs> Sorry, guys. It's, it'll work. It's okay. Okay, so now let's look back at that. Thank you for right. coming along for the ride. <laughs> What about now? Can you see the yeah, you project? See the project. Yes, okay. Yes, 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 yes. I'm not moving. <laughs> I'm, I'm staying the, right here. I'm soaking up this with water here. The the some uh, paper, paper towels. towels here. All right. Because then you want to get the paint inlay that has now been this has been dried on here for um, the original part that we did. For about three hours. Yeah, this has been on here for about three hours. And you're gonna wanna get it wet here. And then you'll catch the corner of it. You wanna make sure it's really reconstituted. Yeah. And then, Let's see the magic. And then you pull it back. Ah! Just like this. Angel singing. <laughs> and then after this here, then you let this dry. But you can use, you let this dry flat. And you can use this again at yep. least one more time, if not two or three more times. You can, some of these, you can get up to four uses out of them and they get lighter with each time. Also, the, the crinoline that has come off on this carrier paper here, will cut, some of it will come off on your next project. So, um, it, that's what makes it look older as you get, you know, more weathered and worn because you've got different layers on the piece. So is that what is that all we want to show them right now? Yeah. Okay. So and so that is how we do those transfer or those in light. How, also how does this look? Yeah, we're good. Okay. We're good. <laughs> Once you've pulled all of those off uh, for the inlay um, and it's time to seal it, you're going to take a mixture, a 50-50 mixture first. Do not brush um, a top coat on this because the paint it'll smear it. You're going to take a 50-50 mixture of, I use Big Top um, from DIY, um, and then I mix that with uh, water, and I use warm water, because um, I just do a little bit of it at a time, and you will spritz that so that it will be evenly coated, and then it will dry. And then I do a second coat um, where I, once that's dried, I evenly spritz it again a second time, and then I will go back after that's dried the second time, and then I will brush a top coat over the entire project. So that is sealed and you can't um, reactivate it then.
but if there is something on here, for example, if you've got one and um, you didn't, you, you wanted it, there's like little spots that it didn't connect properly, you can still, because the paint is still um, activated and hasn't been sealed yet, you can take um, any, any size brush you want, um, like a little artisan brush, and you can dip it in some water and um, color that, bring that paint down into from wherever you're at into the next uh, area so that it continues so you don't have a gap there. Um, I like, I mean, th this, this one in particular though is made to look. Mm -hmm. Yes, this is made, this one is rustic. made to look rustic and vintage and stuff yeah. like that on there. Yes. And I would probably even after everything dries really well, it, um, I would, I would probably just take a little bit of sandpaper mm -hmm. to it and make it a little make bit, it a more, little bit yeah, more vintage or rustic or yeah. worn looking. Yep. Absolutely. Absolutely. So guys, if you have any questions, feel free to let me know. You can uh, reach out to me at any time. All of these products are live right now on my website at stellarosboutique.co. Um, you can also find them here in the shop in Greenville at 524 Justice Drive in Greenville, Tennessee. Um, and it is J-U-S-T-I-S. Um, there is one that is a J-U-S-T-I-C-E, which is around the corner, and that is a house, and that is the wrong not location. Us. Yeah, that's not us. Um, but this is the road that goes between uh, Walgreens and the Shell Station, which was our old Weigel's, which is right by the hospital, uh, by Laughlin, which is now not Laughlin, but we Ballin. will always call it Laughlin. Yeah, we will. It will always be Laughlin. Yeah. Anyhow, um, but anyhow, thank you guys so much for tuning in. And uh, remember, all of these holiday release items are limited edition items. And um, the only things that are not limited are the uh, Pretty in Plaid and the Heavenly. Those are going to be part of the main regular line. And if you have any questions, you can reach out at any time. Thank you guys very much. Um, if you would, make sure to sprinkle this out to your family and friends. And I would love it if you would follow us here on uh, Facebook for me. And you can see other crafts and projects over on our YouTube channel under Stella Rose Boutique. Thank you guys so much. Oh, you know what? I wanted to show you. Let me see that soap right quick. I'm Patty super excited. she's sorry that she missed it, the live. Oh, yeah. It it's was okay. an experience today, so you need to, <laughs> you need to rewatch it. Rewatch it, Patty. You'll love it. It's funny. But I've got some, I want to show you guys some of the soap. What do you there's want me to one, bring? The there's, the, there's the one that's open, that the uh, Kentucky bourbon. Right here. Yes. Yep. And the, oh my goodness, it came in last night, and this is amazing. They, we've got, um, it's from Hummingbird Naturals. Um, she makes everything by hand. They're all, it's all cold pressed. These soaps are amazing. This, oh, oh, all of her stuff is stunning. This is also all available already on the website too, but I wanted to share this with you guys. We'll have these in our live and I will probably do um, another quick one when I have it all set up in the shop so that you guys can see. But we have these, the shower steamers. This one is, it's Relax, it's lavender. They're beautiful and they're huge. Look at them. And they're packaged beautifully. And yes, her packaging is amazing. This one is orange, this is Energize. And um, I also have the little um, um, trays that they sit in. And um, her lotions, this is rosemary and mint. Oh my goodness, it is just, her talent is amazing. We have two different um, all natural lip balms too. One is honey and tea, and the other one is blueberry and lemon. Just, and the pricing for it being all natural. Oh my gosh. The pricing yes. is, is very reasonable. Yes, very, very, reasonable. very reasonable. I'm super excited. Yes, absolutely. And then we've also got some candles coming in yep. shortly. And um, yep, yep, yep. we've got a whole bunch of stuff. I'm so excited to share it with you guys. But anyhow. It's growing. Yes, I love it. I'm so excited. All right, guys. Thank you again. And you guys have a wonderful afternoon. Bye. Bye.